called armor. Duh. <laughs> I have three in the feed with a dag on. I did boo, dude. Hey guys, what's up? It is Preach as always. Hope you guys are doing good today. I wanted to bring you guys another video. This one, we are going to be talking about the crossbow. And you already seen as this video started, my very first kill with the crossbow. And this video is going to take you all the way through until the kill that gets me platinum camo on this crossbow. And what I want to talk about throughout this video is some tips and strategies for how to use the crossbow properly. We're going to show you guys what I think is the best class setup for the crossbow. And then maybe just some good ideas for the game as a whole and how you approach how you play this game. Uh, specifically when you're trying to grind out camos and then also specifically when you're trying not to just have a bunch of unnecessary deaths that you can avoid while you're playing Call of Duty. So the first thing I want to point out about the crossbow, as I'm sure that you have noticed, is after you shoot a crossbow bolt, if you've never used this, you may not know this, but you have to load another bolt and it takes a little bit of time to do that. You probably do it a lot faster in this game than you realistically could in real life. Uh, to an extent, unless you were just really, really, really good at pulling that string back, uh, that would depend on your strength and ability there. But either way, still for the sake of a video game, this does take a minute. Uh, you have to be prepared to either have a secondary that you can swap to quickly if you want to live through situations where you come up on multiple enemies or be prepared to use cover incredibly, incredibly well. Something you will notice that I do if I shoot into a group is I will back behind cover and let my crossbow bolt reload before I step back out again. And if I'm in a situation where that is not possible, I will almost immediately pull out my pistol so that I can continue to try to stay in the fight without dying. So that's something you're going to have to be alert about and be prepared about. And what is happening in this particular sequence of the videos, you'll see I keep killing this Milt Sanchez guy over and over and over right here don't do what this dude is doing okay if you're in this position where it is going to be hard for you to press and get the kill because the person that you're fighting has an advantageous position especially using a gun that kills almost instantly like if i don't miss with this crossbow you're dead before you can kill me. There's just no chance that you have. If I miss, I'm toast. But if I don't miss, you're done. And this guy just keeps coming at me over and over and over again. But that also brings me to the point of if you stay in this box right here on Shipment, and you play Shipment, which is a 24-7 playlist, this box is an area that you can keep yourself pretty well protected and have time, a lot of time between shots, that guy was just terrible, to be able to reload your crossbow bolt. And there's going to come a point if you're going for Platinum or Orion or what's the one in the middle, Polyatomic, on this gun, you're going to have to get uh, 10 three kill streaks which with most guns is not very difficult but it can be kind of difficult with this one because of the amount of time it takes you to reload it's easy to get killed in that space but if you come into this box on shipment you can usually get a kill people are going to get mad like that milt sanchez guy did and they're going to just keep pressing you and you can get through your streaks i killed that milt sanchez guy like six times in a row he basically fed me two of my 10 three kill streaks in about 30 seconds because he just kept coming back to this crate when i got out of it he went in it and then he was super predictable hiding behind the barrel and was another easy kill but don't just keep pressing people that are in an advantageous position or you're going to die over and over and over and over again like that guy did. Also, at the same time, 
be prepared to use advantageous positions like I did here in this video. As you can see in that crate, I unlocked gold on this gun. Now what you'll see with the crossbow, I keep saying gun, it's a crossbow, the weapon in the game. You'll see with this crossbow is once I got through gold, now I'm no longer playing on shipment. And it's because I needed long shots to be able to, to get platinum. Over my and there's not an area on shipment Again, that you can get long shots in I could do at all on the crossbow. There's, there's not a wide enough some. lane for oh, the crossbow no, to be able shot. to get them. So you're going to have to go and play other maps. And what I found is after getting used to the fast pace right, of shipment right, right, right. with this crossbow, and learning how to use cover properly, I absolutely wreaked havoc and destroyed with this crossbow going to these other maps. Part of it is, yes, I'm used to sniping, so my centering is good and things like that. This shot is beautiful. That was just absolutely gorgeous. But what you'll see is, you know, on here on Raceway, on El Asilo, I absolutely dominate these guys while That's using a pistol true. trying to get it leveled up and while using a crossbow the long shots are not quite as long of a distance as you would need for a sniper and they may not even be i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sure somebody has a video on this out there they may not be as long as some of the other marksman rifles but it is still a decent distance that you have to shoot from as you can see 20 and 7 top in the lobby there with the crossbow that's kind of hard to do unless you play really smart or play some really bad people and i might have gotten lucky with coming across both so you can as you can see run around get up in people's faces because if your centering is good it is a one shot kill unless you shoot them like in the shins or lower i've noticed it's pretty much a one shot kill just about everywhere something you have to be prepared for though with the crossbow when you're shooting at any kind of distance, there is travel time. It's not hit scan. And these bolts move slower than the bullets do within the game. And so if people are moving and you aim right at them, they are going to probably run past it if they're any distance away from you. So if they're in that long shot range, you are legitimately going to have to try to lead your shot just like you would in Warzone or something like that with the, your sniper rifles. You know, you don't have to do that with snipers as much in multiplayer because the ranges aren't as long. But with this crossbow, you do actually have to be prepared to lead your shots on moving targets. But for the most part, it feels just like using a really slow bolting, powerful sniper rifle in that, you know, you are going to have to take your time between shots. You are going to have to hide for cover. You're going to have to do things like that. But... If you are able to do that, you're absolutely going to get on people's nerves and wreck people's worlds and destroy them because of it being a one-shot kill. No, and it's basically an instant kill weapon, from... which is pretty awesome if you are good with it. You can see there I got that person oh, through the flash. the flash. And so here I got pretty hyped oh, in-game, like had three me. in the feed there and was pretty hyped because... Like, Brothers I was in a position where with this gun, I should have been getting dominated, and I was dominating these guys instead. And here, this is a range that's considered a long shot, as oh. you can see on the screen. So you can kind of get some judgment off of that as to what the long shots are in this game. But something I want to give you guys advice on on playing against people who are using a crossbow, okay? If you come up against somebody using ones, you can see there... 29 kills i believe i went 29 and 9 yeah on this map me and my buddy sean absolutely dominated and that's using the crossbow i was pretty happy about that this here clip on hotel is probably my favorite clip that i hit i uh, i put it in the intro to this video i believe i made a short about it this is absolutely beautiful just a five piece sitting here in this little dining room absolutely going off on these guys but let's go back to the advice if you were playing against somebody who is using the crossbow if they miss or they hit marker you on the first shot do not stay back waiting on them to repeat because that gives them time to reload their bolt and then they're still a one-shot kill if they're accurate if they miss or they hit marker you 
press them immediately. It's a good chance you can get up on them with your gun and kill them before they can get their bolt reloaded and be able to kill you. So if you're semi-close to them at all and they miss you, press them immediately. Now, as I say that, you see me miss that guy and then destroy him with the akimbos. Sometimes, you know, the guy with the crossbow is just better. It happens. But if they're not thinking about switching their weapons, their mindset's not there, they're just wanting to reload the bolt, you can press them and get on them pretty quick and win the battle. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. At the end of it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a screenshot of the class setup that I am using on this as you see me get platinum here in this long shot in just a second. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, turn those bell notifications on, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Platinum Reach out. Crossbow. Gosh, bro.